more. Hey. I owe you big time. I already told you the guitar strings were a gift. You don't owe me anything. Okay, I beg to differ. It takes a lot to offer a woman your guitar strings. I buy them in bulk. And you strung my guitar, and you tuned it, and then when I felt like a complete loser, you taught me how to play a demented seventh chord. <laughs> it's a diminished seventh. Not the way I play it. <laughs> All right, you, you need to let me buy you dinner. You already bought me dinner. What? I brought over a six-pack and a pizza. Yeah, well, I mean, if that's enough for you, your, your social life is in desperate need of a makeover. Hold on. Ah, Chief. I don't know if you saw this, but they dropped the heart monitors off in the ER. You might want to take care of that. Uh, you were supposed to go right to cardiology. Huh? What can I tell you? That wasn't very subtle. And you were. Oh, now don't be paranoid like You look upset. I need a favor, and I don't know who else to ask. You are so busted. The delivery arrived hours ago, and you waited to tell Steph at the very moment that we were having a deep and meaningful conversation. Oh, really? Deep and meaningful? Oh, what difference does it make? The point is, is that you interrupted so that you could get rid of him. And I've seen you do it a million times before, usually at a party, you spot a new girl, and you make your moves, scraping away whatever unfortunate guy that she arrived with, and he didn't stand a chance. No, well, you're right. It's nice to brush off the old moves. It keeps me feeling young and fresh. It's not like Nicholas to be that territorial. It's become a habit since he found out I was pregnant. So you want me to talk to him? Even if I thought it was a good idea to live with Nicholas, which I don't, I would never move my children anywhere near Helena. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I will try and talk some sense into him. Can I, uh, try to... But I'm gonna have to, uh... Pass on lunch. I'm gonna wait for Robin to get back. Well, can't you just leave a message for her to join us? I could, but we're working on a couple things right now, so it's better I don't bail on her. Okay, don't worry about it. <sighs> Drake and I just performed a miracle, and now I've got sushi for life. Care to join me? Really? Mm -hmm. Well, nobody got that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Do you like uh, sake? You admire Jinjo. Mm. <laughs> I love it, but not when I'm on duty. <laughs> Here are the records you asked for. Thank you. Sure. Hey, Elizabeth, um, I wanted to ask you this thing with Nicholas. Is there anything I can do? <laughs> well, I'm hoping Robin will be able to get through to him. Nicholas has decided he wants me to raise my children at Windermere, and I can't think of a worse idea. I can't say I blame you. Tell your friend to be nice to my brother. He doesn't need a broken heart. I wouldn't worry about your brother. Anyways, I hope that uh, Robin can talk Nicholas down. Yeah, me too. Because I am not raising his baby like a Cassidyne. What happened between me and Elizabeth? 